This is the future. What you're about to learn is the basis of what the future will be leading to regarding stem cells. Imagine being able to take cells from your skin and then transform them into other types of cells such as lungs, brain, heart or even muscle cells. It's like stem cells are like little kids. When they grow up, they are able to become any professional they want to be, like a doctor, a plumber or a fireman. Get it? The stem cell can become any kind of tissue. How cool is that? We will learn about the stem cell, its unique characteristics and its importance, embryonic stem cells and stem cell therapy. Stem cells are mostly found in the marrow of long bones. A section of the long bone shows spongy tissue and the bone marrow. A zoomed in view of this area shows spongy bone and some clusters of stem cells. These cells divide continuously and have the potential of developing into any type of blood cell. They are isolated and cultured in a specific medium. The culture is treated with inducing factors which stimulate the growth of these stem cells and they are stored. Later on in life, if a person undergoes chemotherapy treatment, the chemicals might destroy all his stem cells in the bone. It is then that these preserved stem cells are injected back into the bone. They lodge themselves in the bone marrow and start to multiply and grow. This is called stem cell therapy. Culturing embryonic stem cells and its application. This specimen bottle contains some isolated ova. If we take a closer look at one ovum, we observe the tiny sperms moving towards it. A single sperm fertilizes the egg cell to form the zygote. This process of fertilization outside the body is called in vitro fertilization. After a day of fertilization, the single cell zygote divides into two cells, forming a two-celled embryo. The division of the embryo continues and at the end of four or five days, the embryo looks like a multi-celled ball. This ball of cells is termed as blastocyst. An internal view of the blastocyst shows a number of cells in its lower half. They are called stem cells. These stem cells are isolated and removed from the embryo. They are transferred into the culture medium. The cells multiply indefinitely. After this, they are treated with specific chemicals to coax them to develop into vital cardiac muscle cells. These cells can be used to replace the damaged cardiac muscle. Thus, various heart complications can be cured. These are some of the bright prospects of how stem cells have the potential to cure diseases, which were earlier beyond the reach of medical sciences. Let's summarize. Stem cells are mostly found in the marrow of long bones. A section of the long bone shows the spongy tissue and the bone marrow. Stem cells can be cultured using the technique of in vitro fertilization. Preserved stem cells are injected in such cases called stem cell therapy. These cells can even be used to replace the damaged cardiac muscle and various heart complications can be cured. 
if a person undergoes a chemotherapy treatment, the chemicals might destroy all the stem cells in the bone.